Hey, how's it going guys? In this video, we're going to learn how to use the Google Vision API uh, to detect famous logos. So the logo detection detects popular product logos within an image. And so for example, from, uh, from, the, from this example, we have an image of a uh, Google logo in it. And using this API, you will be able to detect the logo, what logo this is, as well as the further values that uh, make up to the square that uh, uses to detect the logo. Now let's uh, open your Python editor. So first I'm going to create my variables and I'm going to have a, uh, a file name variable. And for this exercise, I'll be using, so let me go back. And I'll be using uh, these three images. So let me open the image real quick. And the first image is, uh, uh, is the Google Office. And so in, right here we have, a, we have the famous Google uh, logo. And so let me move to the next image. And the second image uh, is the Microsoft uh, Office or Headquarters uh, image. And I chose this image because the, the lighting is not as bright uh, like most images. And I thought this would be a really good uh, image for experimenting whether if the Google Vision API would be able to detect the logo. And for the next image, so here we have an image with different uh, companies logo. And it will be interesting to see uh, how many logos can the Vision API be able to uh, recognize. Now let me close the image. So the first image I'm going to use is the Google uh, Office image. And I'll grab the image file name. And I'm also going to create a variable to store my image uh, for the path. And next, I'm going to construct my uh, image path. Now we have the image path, so we can go ahead and uh, uh, construct our image object. So from the content parameter, we want to provide the content. And I forgot to create the content object. So using the IO module, and I'm going to open the image, and I'm going to save the image uh, as binary. And I'll name this uh, image object as image file. And I'll pass the binary data to a content object. So here we're going to create our uh, annotate image response object. So from the client instance, and we want to use the logo detection method. And this is an image uh, parameter. And I want to provide the image uh, object. Now let me just run uh, the Python script by itself for now. And we'll take a look at uh, how the response object is going to look like. So if I print the response object, and this is the JSON response. So we have the uh, logo annotation uh, uh, enumeration uh, constants, and we have the description. So from the description, uh, it was able to detect uh, the logo as new Google. And next we have the confidence score. So the confidence level is 97%, and that means the Vision API was able to uh, detect the logo close to a perfect match. And right here we have the bounding uh, poly, and that's the, and that returns the vertices values that uh, make up to the, uh, the square that uh, the Vision API uses to detect the logo. Now we know how the uh, JSON structure is going to look like. And here we're going to uh, extract all the logo annotation record. And I'm going to name uh, this object logos. And from the response object, I'm going to use the logo annotations uh, in enumeration or attribute. Since it's an attribute, uh, and if I just run this line by itself, and if I print logos, and that's going to return uh, all the records from the logo annotation uh, attribute. 
And we know from response that local annotation, this can uh, potentially return multiple records. And so we have to uh, write a loop to iterate each logo one by one and to extract the logo information. So here we can see that for logo in logos. And I'm going to uh, print the logo description. So logo description. And we can also extract the confidence score. Should be logo score. And I'm going to uh, insert a blank. Uh, actually, I'm going to insert a dash list. So times fifty. And after the confidence score. And here I'm going to actually going to print the further C values. But here I'm going to print the further C values. So uh, further C's values. <clears throat> and using the function, so I'm going to draw uh, the square on the image. And my first um, parameter is the, the content object. And for the C's and followed by the logo description. Now let me close the terminal. And if I just run the Python script. And here I get, uh, oh, so here I made a typo. And let me try again. So here I get footer C is not defined. Oh, uh, so here I made a mistake. So footer C should be logo the bounding underscore poly the footer C. Yeah, I'm actually passing the footer C's uh, value to the footer C's uh, object. And now let me try one more time. Now this time uh, the Python script uh, ran successfully. So here we know that uh, from this image, the Fusion API is using this uh, green square area to detect the Google logo. And now let me use a different image. So let me use the test.jpg image. Now let me go back to the uh, the printing detail. So this time the Vision API was only able to detect uh, one, two, three, four, four logos. Actually, yep, four logos. So the Apple logo and the and the Nintendo logo, uh, Best Buy and Nike. So it wasn't able to detect IBM and Circuit City, uh, Hudders. And Playboy, uh, so which is interesting, and because those are actually uh, pretty famous logos. But in general, most of the times when I upload an image uh, to detect company logos, and I'll say ninety percent of the time the logo detection feature uh, works for me. Now let me just grab this image right here. So here we know that the Vision API is using so it was able to detect the Nike logo. Uh, based on this uh, area right here. And for the Apple, it's using this area to detect the logo. And for Best Buy, and this one's Nike, and yeah, and Nintendo. And hopefully you guys found the tutorial useful. And as always, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video.